Yeah, this side doesn't disappoint. I mean, they got glued on the second frame. That's always a good thing. Yeah. So, third frame. Got spun larva over here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Uh, let's see. Got spun larva over here. And then all around it, we got some eggs. So, at this point, you could stop. I mean, they're queen right. Eggs sticking straight up. It was laid just a day ago. Yep. There we go. Alright, so now it's decision time, really. Check this out. It's hard to say. I mean, I imagine that's a queen cup of some sort. These look like drone. Let's see how the rest. Let's see how the rest of the colony looks, because that does concern me. Hmm. That is a weird looking queen cell to me. Let's see how the rest looks, but I might have to do something. Yeah, check that out. The bees were covering that. Almost missed it too. That's a no kidding swarm cell there. Alright, so between the one in the top box and that's frame four. I think the other one was frame four too. So frame four on both the top and bottom box have swarm cells. So you want to move the parent queen. So the queen that's currently building this hive up. That's why it's important to find her because the amount of bees out in the field it's a pretty good amount. They'll return to the hive and oh there she is. Okay. Shoot. Oh man, that's awesome. Alright, so now, let's see, hope I still got her. Not bad for Amazon purchase. Alright, there she is. There's the queen, the current queen. Hopefully you can see her. So not to mention, I didn't, I don't think I showed this. Hopefully you can see that. That's a wet. That is what people call a wet queen cell. It's got a larva in there. So yeah, this, this hive is definitely going to swarm. So if I didn't do anything, that one too. That's another one right there. So if I didn't do anything, they were definitely going to swarm. That's a nice food frame. You can feel the weight of nectar and pollen. So I'll have to check here in a second. Just to make sure the queen's still in here because it seems like a decent queen clip from old Amazon. The tension on it isn't the best. Let me put this in place. I'll show you here in a second. Three. We got three there. Third frame, bottom box, three, three swarm cells. None there. However, let's just check this last one. Four and five. Usually don't check that frame, so glad I did. So we're at five in the bottom box. Five swarm cells in the bottom box. One for sure in the top box, but let's just double check everything. So I caught them just in time. So we got five in the bottom. So the final count, and I'm going to move this one to the center. They have six. Six swarm cells. A whole bunch of capped, or yeah, capped drone cells. So 
they should be good. Should definitely check back in a few weeks and they should have requeen themselves. So that was definitely a good time to come out and inspect the hives today. Have four officially queenless intentionally though. They should be alright. Well, let's see, this is a good sign. So we do have some bees hanging out at the entrance. So I moved the parent queen over here, made hive four queenless. There's frames of brood, capped brood, spun larva, eggs. Nurse bees, some mature field bees probably, and what else? Food. All right. Just need to double check because I put the queen clip in the bottom, moved it, like barely touched it. And no kidding, that was enough for the queen to get out. There she goes right there. This frame's a lot of food. Looking for an open cell, possibly. All through. Yep. Enough messing around. The queen is in the nuke. All is well. Let's put all this back together. There's a decent amount of bees in here. They should expand pretty quickly. So that was excellent timing to come out and check on the colonies. Definitely need to figure out how to use these a little better. Bought them off Amazon. I think that's the issue right here. That's completely closed. So again, if you're watching this video and you have more experience with me, especially with queen clips, it seems like it doesn't take much to pop that thing open and I barely moved it the first time and she got out. And then second time too, I went to lift it off of the bottom of the nuke and you know, split second, just like that, boom, gone. All right, hey, thanks for watching Cole's Farm. Better late than never. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications. If you have any questions, tips, tricks, advice, anything like that, feel free to share. I always welcome criticism. Hopefully it's positive. Don't get too much negative stuff, so that's always nice. Trying to build our subscriber base. Please share our content with your friends and family. Here's a look at number four. It will take them... It'll take them a few days, I believe 48 hours, something like that. I read recently for the Queen's pheromone to wear off. 